too nice outside to go to a movie. I was going to say it was an awesome movie, but a little scary. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. All right, let's go ahead and look, of course, at the forecast. We're talking about some big changes, and look what we're dealing with today. Yep. Uh, we were knocking maybe almost on the door of a 90 out there in Santa Barbara at 86 degrees. And I know in the beach uh, it didn't feel much cooler, even if there was slight little sea breeze here and there, but not much, and just staying uh, really well, well above normal for this time of year. Check out later, uh, see if maybe some of those were records. Usually it takes a little while for the weather service to put those through. And look, at still 60s, almost 70 degrees in many areas areas with that mild lingering effects of that right there, which was the offshore flow. Uh, the arrows now will start to slowly turn back the other way. <clears throat> and head more uh, onshore, which means from ocean to land. Uh, lingering effects also, you can see right there, is uh, definitely um, very dry skies. Now, looking at the big satellite, again, we're looking at the storm door opening once we get to about the middle and second half of the work week. It's really just a very active Pacific. It's not really quieted down much at all this winter. Just a lot of it has been going over the top of us. So we'll shoot for about late Wednesday, early Thursday for the arrival time of the main event for the this first little series of storminess and uh, about one, maybe two inches of rain right now. Details will start uh, ironing out over the next couple of days as far as how much rain is expected. Try to look at that later um, tonight and maybe um, start getting those models where they can start getting a little more ag in agreement with the exact arrival and the exact uh, intensity. All right, so we call this a dirty ridge because we did have the high clouds rolling over the region. Uh, not as much as today, not as much today as we saw yesterday. Now, if you look at the arrows on here, as we get closer and closer to Tuesday and Wednesday, upper uh, upper corner, right over my head, right about there, you can see all those uh, red arrows streaming up toward the center of low pressure. And again, that means it's really feeding into the storm system, all the moisture, and that's where you get the rapid condensation and then a lot of precipitation, which translates into a lot of rain. All right, the big shot right here, as far as the wide shot, I should say, shows the energy coming in by Wednesday, Thursday, a lot of it well to our north, and then we get our slam turn again Wednesday. 10:30 p.m. If you look real close right there, just starts knocking on the door of our region, and then it looks like Thursday would be the bigger day. Going beyond that into the weekend, we see more energy, and then possibly beyond that, look at this. We line it up with a lot of unstable, unsettled air across the region, and this would be some cold air. So the good news is, hopefully, we get a, we get a lot of uh, Sierra snow um, energy because we're really behind. We haven't really um, had a big winter in the mountains. In fact, uh, compared to last year, it's very woeful. But last year, of course, was very dramatic. And, and again, as we go toward next week, more energy upstream rolling into the region. All right, as far as the moderate offshore flow kicking out as we head through today and into tomorrow, we'll start to see the arrows coming back more from the ocean toward the land. And that means we start to see a stronger onshore return. We get more cooler air. The ocean is uh, pretty cool out there. It's about mid 50s to upper 50s at best. You get the uh, air rolling over the top of it. It's like a giant swamp cooler and you start to cool things off. All right, so Breezy and mild for Monday. Watch the temperatures. The overnight lows, again, lingering effects. Not really that cold. Maybe some high 40s here and there. Otherwise, a lot of 50s. And tomorrow, we go into the 70s. And then as we go to Tuesday, still not really turning it yet as far as coolness. So we hold on to a couple of upper 60s and even maybe, maybe even a few lower 70s again. And that would be on Tuesday. Now we'll go ahead and look at our areas one by one. South Coast, another gorgeous day out there. Still slightly above normal. Uh, um, depending on if we do get the sea breeze kicking in, we'll probably hover near normal. Other areas, though, well above normal still. Los Alamos at 73. And look at the lows. Again, can't say that enough. Um, wasn't that long ago we had those 30s and even high 20s for lows. And now we're looking at just balmy um, 50s to uh, mid 50s. All right, tomorrow we'll go with El Rio at 76, Camarillo 77, and Port Wainimi at 75. Sea breeze, again, expected to slowly come back into play. Surf, we've had a good run of swell out of the west. Uh, nothing too dramatic, but just really beautiful waves the last couple of days, and that should hold for tomorrow. Rain again late Wednesday going into Thursday, and then we bring in a chance for more showers all the rest of the way into early February, and uh, possibly into maybe the first couple of weeks of February if you uh, go beyond our seven days right there. There's definitely some writing is on the wall that uh, possibly more rain is definitely knocking on the door. We'll be right back.
Yeah, here you go. Yeah, mic check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cool. Thank you. Thank you.